And now it's time for news from around the world and meanwhile in. Meanwhile in China, they're apparently deciding to kick out some of their Bitcoin miners. They've apparently long been home to more than half of all of the world's miners of Bitcoin. Past estimates show about 65 to 75% of Bitcoin mining happens inside of China. In May, though, the government called for a severe crackdown on Bitcoin mining and trading, setting off what's being dubbed in crypto circles as the Great Mining Migration. If you're not familiar with this mining, I, I wish it was you. Um, but the mining is the energy intensive process which both creates new coins, Bitcoins, and maintains a log of all transactions of existing digital tokens. So uh, where are they gonna go? Well, to a lot of different places. They might go to uh, you know Kazakhstan, other neighboring countries. But apparently a lot of them are really jazzed about going to Texas actually. Because despite a lack of reserves that caused days long blackouts last winter, Texas often has some of the world's lowest energy prices. And its share of renewables is growing over time with 20% of its power coming from wind as of 2019. It also has a deregulated power grid that lets customers choose between power providers and crucially, its political leaders are very pro crypto. These are dream conditions for miners. So many of them might end up going there and doing the incredibly energy intensive cryptocurrency mining. That let's just bear in mind seems like kind of a bad match for a power grid that right now is resulting, as you'll see in this headline, with Texans being urged to reduce cooking and cleaning so that they won't use power. They're also told, by the way, don't set your AC to anything lower than 78 because there isn't enough power for it. Like millions of homes worth of power has already been taken off the grid due to necessary maintenance. And so they're gonna be moving one of the most energy intensive industries <laughs> to Texas. I understand it's it's a lot of independent people and companies and everything, but that just seems like a bad match at this point. Uh, yeah. They may should plan that part out a little bit better. But just the whole creation, the little, I'm sorry. And I feel like I heard Anna say this in passing the other day, I don't get it. I've I've read a I, I still don't get it. What do you mean? That so you're creating new coins, like literal coins? Is that what's happening, or is this more of a no, digital thing? Because it also digital. maintains a log of all. So why say it in those terms? I'm sorry, I know I'm an old man and I don't get it. I understand it marginally better, still not well enough. Oh, let me let me say, if you're watching this and you really are into crypto, crypto's the best thing ever. <laughs> don't at me. Uh, but no, it just it seems like a really weird. I'm not against use. Bitcoin. I just don't get it. It's like you know what? I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm not against the new light rail system that's being put in in a, in a, in a L.A. I didn't build it. I don't know how it works. Doesn't mean I don't like it. I just don't mm -hmm. know how it works. I have no idea how this works. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.